Hey guys, welcome back to Hatchet's Hooch. It's the uh, Halloween season, and we are here celebrating at the greatest haunted house in the world, Horror Fields. The Horrorfields.com. We have Thomas here with us. This is his uh, debut on Hatchet's Hooch, and Thomas is a tequila guy. Has been since I've known him. Anyway, today we're going to try some 1800 silver. I've never had any 1800, Thomas. Me neither. Yeah? What was the Pepe Lopez guy? Well, you know, our, our buddy Blake, he said that he was a Patron guy for a long time, but he changed to this because it's a little cheaper and just as good. So if this is good as Patron, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be all right, even though I hate tequila. <laughs> so, all right. I'm cloning. Oh, that's gonna be yummy, Thomas. Probably not. <laughs> All right, let's smell it. Get my grade out of it. Oh, it's terrible. Wait, wait, wait. I stuck it to the wrong nose. Mm. <laughs> it smells just like some nasty tequila. I like your glasses glowing. Yeah, they do pretty good. You smell any agave in there? I'm smelling something. Ah, it's terrible, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I am not a tequila fan, y'all. All right. That's pretty good. It's terrible warm. <laughs> Like, uh, agave has a flavor that makes me want to throw up. But this one, I didn't really, didn't catch that there. It just has a burn. Yeah. It's got the burn. It's got a little bit of a burn. Not bad. Let's add some ice in there. You are ice man. I'm the house guy. The blind guy is the house guy. There you go. I think I got my glasses on this time. Oh, that one won't fit. We'll, uh, make it. Right. You need some more tequila? More tequila? Are you got some? I drank the whole thing. I thought I was supposed to drink the whole thing. <laughs> That's right. Well, I took See that cheating. I took a little bit because I don't like tequila. All right, pick it up. I'm expecting the burn to be gone this time. <laughs> it is tequila. Right before that water mixes, I guess. Uh, the smell's not quite as as potent as it was earlier. No. Still smells like tequila though. Yeah. Ah. All right. Oh, got to lay up my nose this time. The burn's completely gone. There's no alcohol at all. That's really good, ain't it? It's smoother. Much smoother. I think I could drink this as opposed to like uh, Patron or whatever that other stuff I was drinking. That Mexican <laughs> stuff we got. Pepe Lopez. Yeah. Ah, Pepe. So, uh, I'm going to not recommend the tequila, but if you are going to drink tequila, this is this is really good. Yeah. What do you think, Thomas? I, I could I could do shots with friends with this. <laughs> yeah. As long as there's friends, I'm not drink alone. That's right. Well, uh, if you if you're a tequila drinker and you normally get Patron, I say give it a try. Blake, you're right. It's pretty good. Uh, even if you don't normally drink tequila and you want to try it, this is a definitely a good one to try, and it's not too expensive either. I don't know what this bottle costed, but uh. Uh, give it a try. If you're if you're a Pepe Lopez man like Thomas, this is probably a step up. It's not as bad. I don't know. I'm still a Pepe Lopez guy when it's been in the freezer a minute. <laughs> in a, in, you in see, the, the freezer, freezer dumbs down the flavor soon. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm going to chug this and we're out. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Hatch's Hooch here at Horror Fields Horror House. The Horror House. Yeah. The Horror Fields. Oh, tell them what you do here in this room. I am the puppet man. I sell clown pots. 
I will stick the clown nose to your face with three pinky toes. In your face. <laughs>